What's up guys? I'm here with this 1932 Plymouth Coupe. This car is for the most part completely original. It's probably the cleanest car this old I think I've ever seen. Uh, it does run and drive. It's gonna need some things to be like completely on the road. The tires, they all hold air, uh, but they're old as hell so it's definitely gonna need tires. I have it running off of an auxiliary fuel tank in the I just keep it in the front seat. I'll show you that later. I took it out so that I can show you the interior. Uh, there's a hose right up under there that goes to the carburetor. I have the tank sitting right there and it runs and drives fine. The e-brake stops it. Um, it is gonna need the brakes to be gone through because it did sit for a long time. Uh, this car has hydraulic brakes. Plymouth was ahead of their time back in the day. Most of these cars have mechanical brakes and you can buy the master cylinder for this thing on eBay for about a hundred bucks. I can link you to that if you wanna see it. Um, a little afternoon worth of work and you could have this thing road worthy, but The real cool thing about it is how clean it is. There's no rust on this car. There's, you know, a tiny bit of rust on the edge of the the running board right here. You know, it's got it's been stuffed in a little bit and there's a little bit of rust on that edge. But there's no holes in this thing. The floors are solid, the frame is solid. I don't think I've ever seen a coupe body from this era in the last 20 years that looked like this. If you uh, if you're looking for a car for the race of gentlemen, this would be perfect. If you don't know what the race of gentlemen is, you should pause this video right now and google it because it's one of the coolest things ever. They take these cars they build them as if they were period correct, built in the 40s, and they race them on the beach in Wildwood, New Jersey, and it's awesome. And this car has the perfect patina for it, it would be great. Interior is a little bit ratty, but not terrible. You know, the seat's been chewed up. There was some, some mice living in here. It has, uh, the dashboard here actually has lights under it that actually light up and work. I didn't even know it would have lights on it, but we were when we were first got the car and we got it running, like you see I put a new ignition switch in it, it's got a new battery. Uh, there's a switch under the key and that switch turns the interior lights on for the dashboard. All right, here's the, the lights I was telling you about. If you hit the little switch under the dash, they, they light up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a car this old with dash lights before. It's pretty cool. Headlights work, the horn works. It did have a rumble seat in it. That's the only thing that's missing. Somebody stole the rumble seat out of it. So it's just an empty trunk under there right now. The fuel tank that's in the car is is clean looking. There's no holes in it or anything like that. And there is a drain right there. You could drain the fuel, I would suspect, and put fresh fuel in it and shake it up. And you know, you want to get all the junk out of there and run a brand new fuel line. And I'm sure the car would run off its own fuel line. It was on the road about 15 years ago. Um, so it wouldn't be hard to get it going. I just, for the sake of convenience, I just put a, a five gallon gas can in the front seat there. All the glass is good. The windows all roll up and down easy. Even the back window rolls down. There's a window crank right there. That goes down. They all go up and down nice. Show you guys the engine. The car has a clean uh, Connecticut title and previous registration. So there's the motor, it's got a new coil on it. Obviously it's just kind of temporarily put there just to get it going. Show you the other side. This thing was stored in inside its whole life, so that's why it's the way it is. I mean, you can see the firewall down there, nothing, there's no holes anywhere. That's the master cylinder right there. And like I said, you can buy that master cylinder, I think it's like 90 bucks. You could probably rebuild that one, but I mean, for 90 bucks, you might as well just buy one and throw it in there. Clutch works great. This is underneath the driver's side. And look at the floor on this thing. There's no rust, no holes. It's crazy. Frame's all good inside of the fender. Muffler's got a hole in it, as you can see, and you can hear it when it runs. I mean, it sounds fine, but you can hear that it's got an exhaust leak. I was gonna get a muffler at tractor supply, but I mean, you can buy the parts for this thing pretty readily. You can see the trunk pan. Not a spot of rust anywhere on it. When's the last time you saw a trunk or a floor that was almost 100 years old it looked like that? Pretty wild. It being a coupe makes it more desirable, obviously, but it being a Plymouth makes it pretty rare. There was tons of Fords from this era made, but there were not that many Plymouths made. And you can see there's another hole in the muffler. But look at the floors. It's crazy to see a car this original and this clean would make an awesome, awesome race of gentlemen car. It, you could make a hot ride out of it. It'd be kind of a shame because it's 
so original the way it is. I would, me personally, I put different wheels on it, leave it the way it is, paint a number on the door, and take it to the beach and race it. All right, stay tuned to the video. I'm going to show you this thing running and driving up and down the road. All right, so this is the gas can that I have set up here. So I just have that hose going right to the carburetor. I'm having such a hard time with the ending of this video. I'm about to include a blooper reel. <laughs> Anyways, that's my 32 Plymouth. Uh, if there's anything on the car that I missed that you'd like to see, feel free to email me or text me and I'll get you more videos or pictures of you know whatever I, whatever I happen to miss. If you're local to where the car is, feel free to come down and check it out, take it for a ride. Uh, thanks for checking out my video. So that's it, guys. If uh, there's anything, ah, Plymouth Coupe. Thanks for checking out the video on my 32 Plymouth Coupe.